guys welcome to another video another Friday and today I'm gonna be showing you something different I'm gonna be traveling with my family for sort of like a weekend getaway uh, in honor of my daughter's birthday she turned eight this week so we're gonna take her out and we're gonna go to LA but I still have the payments of the day so I want to show you what's in my traveling bag and this bag you can find it in my store Hooper Creations and then let's take a look inside okay guys we're gonna start by opening our pouch and the pouch has this little holder where I can take anywhere hold it like this and then it has the zipper and inside I have my roll and my sketchbook and uh, this is this is my Phil Artist sketchbook that I haven't finished but uh, eventually I'm gonna have more Artisa sketchbook in here because I, I like it better and it's better price so uh, I have my sketchbook here which I'm planning to take and then it fits perfectly in my little pouch. Uh, this sketchbook is three inches by six and a half or seven so that's more or less how big my sketchbook is that fits in here and then I have my little tool roll and inside my tool roll I have my brushes, my favorite brushes and these brushes are really inexpensive I have I had bought after buying these brushes I have bought other brushes that are $17 for each one or something like that and I don't like them as much as I like these and these were like six bucks I think at Michael's and they are like plain plain Swan Cheng from China really inexpensive but I love these brushes they work so great uh, the thicker one I can make really thick lines and then really fine lines so I believe they're synthetic and I love these brushes so these are the ones that I'm taking so I'm taking a really fine one and then the biggest one I have and I don't need really really big because my sketchbook is little so and then I have my water brush and the, the thing with my water brush is I don't use it, I don't actually use the brush, I just use it to activate the, the watercolor. So I just need one, uh, but they came in a set of three actually and I bought them at Michael's too, they came out on a set of three, I think it was $6.99 for the three of them, so if you're interested in that, you can take a look. I don't know if you have, depending on where you, you are located, Michael's is in the USA, so uh, most of my stuff I buy at Michael's because it's closest. I do have a brick store, but it's really, really far, like it's almost half to 40 minutes longer drive than going to Michael's so I just go to Michael's and this is something I made for myself and I'm planning to maybe adding this to my store obviously a better version of it more finished but I did this last minute yesterday or the day before the day before actually and it's my little palette and then I just need the primary colors and black and white and uh, white is wash I don't use watercolor white because it's there's really no purpose honestly so I just use wash because it's more matte and I'm able to do details with it and then my four main watercolors is black red um, yellow and blue and these are Winston and Newton and let me show you the tubes actually here they are. These are my colors that I use. They're all Winsor & Newton. And the reason why I'm using Winsor & Newton, even though I love Arteza, is because when Arteza watercolors dry, they tend to peel off. And you can see it here on my palette. They just, they just come off easily. So I don't want that to happen with my small palette because I was obviously I'm gonna be traveling I'm gonna be moving this is gonna be thrown everywhere so I don't want them to peel off and Winsor & Newton does not peel off so that's why I decided to take the Winsor & Newton and the colors I'm using is the ultramarine the ca can cadmium yellow and the cadmium red and for the black is ivory black and then um, the white wash is titanium white so I made this little palette and I 
tested it, I made some green over here, and I'm really excited to use it. It's really small. Uh, I want to add this to my store, but I'm going to become with a better design, obviously, better looking. And I did another test here, so for a bigger haul, because I found these were too small. So I decided to try it on the same palette a bigger hole so this is the hole that actually i'm going to do for the ones i'm planning to sell in my store and then obviously these holes are going to be bigger and i'm thinking to add in it it depends on how it's going to come out throughout the weekend and how um it manages if it if it stays um good the whole trip so let's test it um i'm this is going to be a testing for this because I haven't used it. I just mixed this color and that's it. So let's make a little doodle together and um, let's test it and see if it works. I'm all done with the painting and as you guys saw it worked and it worked pretty good and I really enjoyed mixing the colors on it and I did a full sketch on it it's something different that I don't usually do which is um landscapes but I just felt like a um, vacation we're gonna go and see the beach and stuff so I just thought it would be great to do the landscape since I'm gonna be out and about and then um, as far as my little project here uh, it worked I think if I'm gonna sell it obviously I'm gonna make a lot of changes to it make it more water resistant as far as the wood the paint here is water resistant the white paint under it so there was no issue with that but once I start using it as you guys can see it stained the wood here so I'm gonna use a sealant for it if I'm gonna sell it uh, so the, that can be avoided and just wiped out or something and then um, obviously the, the little compartments are gonna be bigger um, but I like the size overall it's really small and cute and I really enjoy it and it's gonna work out perfect for me on the go and it obviously it fits on my little my little roll here so I'm able to carry everything with me and I hope you guys enjoy it I'm gonna leave the links below for all the things if you want to purchase from my store and uh, I'll see you next time mm -hmm.